Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechBeans and this is my PUBG review for the Xiaomi Mi 9. Take a good look at that my friends. Doesn't that look just gorgeous? It is the most beautiful phone I have ever seen. Also, one of the most powerful in the market right now. This thing is porting the latest Snapdragon 855 processor. I'm sure some of you have already seen me play the game on my unboxing video, but this time around I'm going to be checking out some other settings that you haven't seen yet. And yeah, you haven't actually saw me do the in-depth review for PUBG on the Xiaomi Mi 9. And you haven't seen this very nice feature. It's called Game Booster. I've actually just added PUBG right now on this app right here. It lets me see the frames per second on the actual game. It also monitors the CPU and the GPU levels and battery, plus a lot of other features as well. Also, I'm gonna play some really nice looking games, Nova Legacy, Shadow Gun Legends, and Asphalt 9. These games are just the most beautiful games on the Play Store right now. I am certainly excited about this. Let the review begin. No. And here we go. This is the game running at HDR, ultra frame rates. Realistic, of course. Look at that. That is the graphics you're gonna get for the Xiaomi Mi 9. The latest Snapdragon 855 processor looking really slick right there. Of course, some of you have already seen this kind of footage before. In a bit, I'm gonna up the graphics a little bit so you can see how powerful the Snapdragon 855 processor truly is. We haven't unlocked everything, actually. Here's the plane scene. And look at that, very good lighting, very good rendering. And actually, I'm just gonna show you this right here. This, my friends, is the special feature from the boosted Game Booster technology. And as you can see, the game is playing at 41 frames per second because of that ultra frame rates. So right now, I'm thinking that the game is limiting itself to 45 frames per second at max because of ultra settings. Okay, I think we should drop off at this point. And this is where the part where most smartphones actually lag. And as you can see, the Xiaomi Mi 9 doesn't really lag at all. That is just how good the processor is in this thing. And let me just check again the frames per second. As you can see, 40, 41 frames per second. It is still very much smooth. That's a lot of things to render right there. And the Xiaomi Mi 9 just handles it very, very smoothly. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna play the game. I'm gonna get some guns and some armor. Survive is right here. Okay, oh, I'm actually being shot now. Holy crap, I don't have any armor. I gotta get to the house. Armor, armor, okay. All right, I have some guns now. Let me just shoot that guy, okay. There you go, oops. Oh, 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 fudge, fudge. fudge. Holy crap, is that a bot? I think that's a bot, he's not really good. Where, where the hell is that guy? Disappeared? Oh, there you are. Boom, boom, ha. That was fairly easy, so I got a lot more armor this time around. Thank you so much for the clothes. Okay, so we've seen the max settings that the game gives us by default. You can only go as high as HDR, ultra frame rates, realistic, and all that jazz. But we can actually level up the graphics using the GFX tool right here. This app helps us hack the game's graphics. Okay, we're gonna set the resolution to 1080p, that's full HD. The graphics at HDR, frame rates at 60 frames per second, that's corresponding to the extreme frame rates, anti-aliasing at four times, realistic, shadows enabled, and our PUBG version is 0.11. Okay, let's test this out. Darn ads, run the game. And as you can see, the interface has gotten a little bit smaller. The icons is a little smaller, the text, has gotten a little smaller. It was larger before because the resolution was lower, but we bumped it up a bit at 1080p. And here we go, HDR graphics. Before we didn't see the extreme frame rates right there and now it's unlocked. Realistic, anti-aliasing, and I set it to notched. And we're gonna disable the lowering of graphics. And here we go. This is it, and never before seen footage of PUBG at the highest possible settings. This is it. And oh my God. Whoa, look how smooth that is. This level of smoothness has never been seen before in PUBG. Take a good look at that. Let me just check this out. 53 frames per second, 60 frames per second right there. My friends, we are seeing 60 frames per second on PUBG. An actual 60 frames per second video right here. By the way guys, this video is recorded in 60 frames per second. So be sure to check out the settings before you actually uh, watch this video. Man, that looks so beautiful. Okay, we're dropping off. And 
the same scene, but how many frame rates now? Whoa, take a look at that. Okay, 31 frames per second. We're dropping off at 30 frames per second. That's, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. 36. So yeah, pretty understandable because there's so much going on, on the screen right now. As you can see, it's rendering all of these things uh, in the background. But I actually see an issue right now because the back of the phone has suddenly gone hotter than the usual. This is me playing the game at 60 frames per second. Let me just check that out. Take a good look at that, guys. 60 frames per second, PUBG. Now, I've actually tried the game on the Pocophone F1 before. That's using the Snapdragon 845 chip. Last year's chip, by the way. The level of smoothness you're gonna get on this uh, smartphone, it's consistent. Look at that. That is consistent 60 frames per second right there. But the only problem is, damn, the phone is getting really hot, like super hot. Let me just check this out. So when we started out, I think it's, it was 33 degrees Celsius. Now, now the phone is at 43 degrees Celsius. That's actually quite warm. I do hope once they put out the Pocophone F2, they include liquid cooling on that. Cause right now, whoa. Oh my God, I'm dying. Holy crap. No, no. Oh, so yeah. Um, I really do hope that they include liquid cooling on this cause it's really warm very uncomfortable to hold and I just died. So let me just show you the game booster uh, functionality right here. It's a, it's a great interface that's added to the game. It lets you have all of these shortcuts up top of, what is this? Oh, okay, that's for the Chinese apps. WeChat, look at that. The browser opening up inside of the game, cool. You can also um, clear the cache. You can also screenshot the game and record the game. And you can also monitor the CPU and GPU usage up top and even the frame rates as like I've shown you earlier. We also have the do not disturb right here, which is a very useful feature if you do not want to be disturbed, do not want to be called right now if you're really serious into your game. And also you can turn off the screen as well. Look at that, nice. So yeah, this, these are the things that the Game Booster is gonna do for you. WLAN, better Wi-Fi, better touch controls, better audio, and yeah, better resource management. All right, so that is PUBG. Let's test out another game. This is Asphalt 9. Is <clears throat> This, my friends, is a beautiful looking racing game. And of course, I have set the graphics to high quality. You definitely want to see the max graphics for the game. And we are off to the Himalayas. Damn, that graphics looks so stunning. The lighting effects, the water, wow, look at that. Oh my god. The colors, the, the models, and everything looks so damn good. Also, let me just check the frames per second right here. It's running uh, at 30 frames per second. Okay, so it's capping off at 30 frames per second, my friends. It doesn't look like the game can go to, uh, higher than that. But yeah, there you have it. Okay, so I just found out that the 60 frames per second feature is only exclusive for iPhone XS and XR. Bummer. Let's start playing Nova Legacy. This is also a beautiful looking game. Skip tutorial, and here we go. Looking pretty good. And from the looks of it, this game is capping off at, so the game is running at 30 to 40 frames per second. As you can see, yeah, we can't control the graphics. That's a bummer, but it's a very good looking game and as you can see, the phone can really handle the game, no problem. Okay, so that was Nova Legacy. Now for me, I think this is the best looking game on the Play Store. It is Shadow Gun Legends. So let me just show you the graphics settings I have here. We're using ultra high graphics and 60 frames per second FPS limit. If you've been watching my channel before, I've actually done the review for this for the Black Shark and the Razer phone. And both those phones actually Kind of lagged when they played this game but right now i don't see any of that lag at all man this is very playable this is very smooth and i'm sorry if i did not include the sounds on this because i might get demonetized for using the sound from the game so yeah i'm just being careful right now but yeah uh <clears throat> in terms of audio uh, the mi 9 is not very loud it's very tinny there's actually a lot more mid-range phones out there that has better audio than, than this. Even though it's game boosted, that it's saying that it's improving the audio, it's not really doing that much. 
I mean, the sound effects is not that powerful. I mean, the sound that I'm getting from the single uh, speaker grill right here is not that powerful. Man, this game looks so good. The, from the characters, the villains, the, the aliens that they make for, for the game, it, it looks really nice. Of course, the game is running at, let me just check, 58, 60 frames per second. It's actually playing at that level. So far, so good. It's just that um, at this level of graphics, it, sometimes it could really get very hot at the back. Whoa, is that the boss? That's huge. Woo. Okay, let me just go here. And how do I kill this thing? Destroy the Titan. Do I use the rocket launcher or something? Okay, maybe aim for that hole right there. Boom, I think I killed it. it just exploded, wow. And there you have it my friends. That was Shadowgun Legends. What a beautiful game that was. It is certainly unbelievable how mobile graphics has gotten this far. And with the Snapdragon 8 5 5 processor, it all makes all of this possible. So this thing actually costs 500 US dollars for the base variant. That's the six gigabyte slash 64 gigabytes of Israel storage. And right here we have the eight gigabyte slash 128 gigabytes. That is gonna cost you around 550. So yeah, the price is just so good for what you're getting right here. Definitely bang for the buck. Up next is the in-depth review for the camera on the Xiaomi Mi 9. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince Dominguez from TechBeans, and I'll see you on the next video.